Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com for premium sports picks. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there. Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. From time to time, I come across something an athlete does or anyone involved in litigation. And it's such a head scratcher. It's such an eye opener that I literally send the article to clients to warn them on what not to do. Now there's a piece that's online. It's on one of my favorite sites, a site I refer to often, BoxingScene.com. And it involves the lawsuit between champion Mikey Garcia and his promotional group Top Rank. Now if you don't know, Top Rank is one of the most successful promotional outfits in boxing. They've been very successful going back for decades. Their patriarch, Bob Arum, is one of the biggest movers and shakers in the sport. Right now, they're literally creating a boxing market in Macau, right? And Bob Arum has some of the biggest names in boxing, people like Manny Pacquiao, right? So if you're going to sue top rank for anything, you better come prepared. The fighter needs to realize that he can't make statements in public, certainly not with a mic nearby or a reporter nearby holding a pad that are going to hurt his litigation. Because understand, if there's one person who could discredit a lawsuit, it's the person bringing the lawsuit, the plaintiff. Well here, Mikey Garcia, who is sued top rank, is quoted in the piece as saying, there's nothing top rank did that broke the relationship. I just wanted to apply some more, some more pressure and get a little more legal with them. You know, that statement finishes the lawsuit as I see it. Right? It finishes the lawsuit. Let me tell you, I'm here in California. I've appeared before Andy Foster, the commissioner of the California State Athletic Commission. I've spoken with you know, legal counsel for the California State Athletic Commission, I can tell you that in my opinion, fighters face an uphill battle. Fighters aren't the repeat players before the commission that promoters are. Right? If you're a commissioner, chances are you know a lot more about the promoters, people like top rank, than you do any individual fighter. When you know that there is a written contract, when you know that the attorneys for top rank are O'Melveny and Myers, one of the biggest legal outfits here in the state of California, when you realize that the commissioners likely know O'Melveny and Myers more than they know the legal team for Mikey Garcia, then you realize that statements like this, where Garcia literally says, there's nothing top rank did that broke the relationship. Right? Really end the lawsuit. How could Mikey Garcia come back from that at an evidentiary hearing? If top rank didn't do anything that broke the relationship, then what exactly is his complaint about? Right. Let me also say, too, that understand these promotional agreements are actually signed off on by the California State Athletic Commission. That limits what an attorney can argue. Right? You can't claim that the contract is completely unfair to the fighter 
because the commission has already vetted the contract. Right To the extent that the contract is vague and ambiguous, I believe that lowers the plaintiff's chance of success because the burden of proof is on the plaintiff to present conclusive evidence as to whatever the plaintiff is arguing. In this case, I understand it's over the length of the contract. Right. In other words, you have to present your case in such a way that the trier of fact has no doubt as to the correctness of what you're arguing. Right? I understand this is not a criminal case. I know I'm going to hear from lawyers that it's a preponderance of the evidence. Well, you need the preponderance of the evidence on your side. Right? Keep in mind, too, the way these contracts work is that these promoters will often pay a lot of money up front. They'll pay signing bonuses. They'll pay advances. The promoter will argue that they paid the advance based on their interpretation of vague and ambiguous contractual language. Right? The promoter will almost certainly ask for some kind of refund if you're going to have a restrictive interpretation of the contractual language. So to sum up, I hope Mikey Garcia fully understood what he was doing when he gave this interview to BoxingScene.com. Let's hope that Mikey understands that his purpose in filing the lawsuit was just to remind Top Rank that he exists and just to kind of light a fire on the Top Rank to get him the fights he wants. Right? Let me also say this, and I don't say it lightly. You have some big players in boxing who are signing a lot more talent. Right? Al Heyman has signed a lot of talent. Top Rank has a lot of fighters under their tent. So does Golden Boy. If fighters are expecting more personalized attention, if fighters want the promoters to spend more time on their careers, then before you sign any contract, consider how much time the promoter has to spend on your career. If the promoter is managing a hundred other careers, that promoter might not have the time, even if you're a champion like Mikey Garcia, to properly steward your career. So that's why these fighters need to think about hiring promoters and hiring managers who don't have the huge number of clients that these superstar promoters and managers have. Right? Just a thought. Mikey's upset that he's not getting more attention from top rank. I'm just here to tell you there are many promoters in this business that would love to have Mikey Garcia as a client and that no doubt would spend every waking moment trying to get him the biggest fights possible. Sometimes when you sign with these big promoters, while you're getting a lot of influence, while you're getting access to other fighters that the promoter or manager has, Sometimes you're not going to get the attention that you think you deserve. And I think that's what's going on in this case. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. And let me just say, I have sent this article to clients to let them know loose lips sink ships. Right? If you have a lawsuit that's pending, don't undercut it with lines like, there's nothing Top Rank did that broke the relationship. Come on, Mikey. Let me hear from you. Thanks for stopping by.